All right, so now we're looking at another Q7 just came in, and this one's without the black optic package. So you can see how the grill is definitely different from previous uh, model year, the 24s. So even though that's a Q5, that's more or less the same as the Q7 without black optic. So now you can see you got those elements there that really stand out. And once again, the headlights are a lot more pronounced and more aggressive, as well as the air intakes. So please let me know and comment below what you think. If this is a nice change versus the non-black optic from before. Now your standard 20 inch wheels now that come on the vehicle. So that's a nice change that they just went to the 20s automatically. And there's a side profile of the headlamps, intakes. Moving out back. Another shot of the rear end with the new taillights that have been put on the model. So you'll see the segments a little more pronounced, more aggressive in design. And a definitely welcome change once again that we pointed out before. The exhaust system is now real. No more fakery going on. This one is a four-cylinder turbo, so it's the 45 model. Got the tow hitch here. Gets up to 4,400 pounds. It's off the truck, so it just came and arrived today as we speak. So don't mind all the stuff that's in the interior. Got the beam rings. Got the natural wood inlays this time around. That's a nice touch. A little different design for this year. You can also see that there on the center console and also on the dashboard. So nice touch, very luxurious look. And this is the Sega Beige, Saga Beige, however you want to pronounce it. But the heat and ventilation option here, as you can see with the preparations. Nice great stitching on the steering wheel. So nice little touches here and there to really spice up some of the details on the car. So you got your virtual display, dual screens for the infotainment air conditioning controls, four zone climate control, rear shades in the back on this model as well. So there's the door cards there, high quality, just like your typical Audi. Awesome attention to detail. And there's your beige interior there. Hopefully it's coming in okay. All of them come with the panoramic shading glass. So a really cool car. One more time at the wheels. And there's the rear end once again. Car itself, dimensionally, and everything is carryover. But the styling tweaks are just meant to prolong this until we get an all new version very soon. So once again, 2025 Q7 with a nice facelift here for on this model. And this will carry it over until we get an all new version. So thanks for tuning in and have a great day. Take care.